All right, so I, I asked you in there about your success at the China Open, but what's your favorite part about coming to the city or just, just sightseeing or hanging out in China for, for a week? Well, um, it's uh, been actually a very busy couple of weeks, so mm -hmm. I just arrived yesterday and I'm probably playing tomorrow, so there's not much time to uh, sighting, but um, well, um, it's always good to go somewhere uh, in the evening and uh, for a nice dinner and forget about tennis for a little bit. But um, it's not, yeah, it's not happening very often that if you really have those couple of days off. Well, 11 champion Agnieszka Radwanska faces off against shining debutante Johanna Kanta for the trophy and the mantle as champion. Well, which is a good problem, then it means you're busy playing tennis. What's it like to, with the atmosphere and the, and the fans here compared to other tournaments? Well, I think the fans uh, here are the loudest and really great, especially when you're really playing late. They stay with you there uh, for the late uh, uh, night and really supporting you, screaming your name all the time, so uh, you can really hear them. So let's talk about uh, your year in general. So at majors, you um, made it to the quarterfinals, just about everyone except the Australian Open, you went a little further. Uh, what do you think you need to improve on your game specifically to uh, maybe go a little further than that in the, uh, the upcoming tournaments and, and majors next year? Well, um, there's always something to improve. Uh, everything is going forward, uh, tennis as well. So, um, well, to win the Grand Slam, you really have to play great tennis and win seven matches in a row. Um, and well, um, I was still uh, working and very hard and tried to do everything my power to do it one day. Uh, so well, so I have a couple of years to try. So your game is a little bit, a little bit different than uh, other women on the tour. Why do you think your game uh, works for you and uh, helps you the most out there? What, what part do you think helps you the most? Well, this is the way I play from the beginning, and um, I cannot really hit as strong as the other girls. So that's that's the way I am, and um, have to really always uh, mix it up everything and find a way to win game sets and matches uh, like this. So um, well, that's not going to change for sure. Yeah, she's trying to get beat Rybonska at her own game, and it's not working. For sure. Mm -hmm. Is your preparation different for different tournaments, or do you try and keep it consistent going uh, to your first match, or uh, do you see different? Well, it's a little bit different, especially when the surface changed, and um, it's a little bit different on clay and different on grass. So, um, always trying to, uh, of course, improve a little bit more fitness, for example, um, for the clay, that for sure you're going to run more. Um, so, um, yeah, it all depends, of course, um, um, how many matches you played and if you can do a little bit more off the court. Sometimes you play so much, you can you cannot do that much. So um, you know, you just um, have to look um, how you feel and also um, yeah, what you have to do also uh, to stay whole year healthy and fresh. What's it like with all the, the time zone changes? I mean, you were in New York a couple weeks ago. Now you're you're in Beijing. How does that? affect your, your body or your preparation um, for each tournament? Yes, well, it's very tough, um, especially that we're changing the time zone very often. And um, it's uh, every year is getting worse and worse mm -hmm. for me. So I think we um, when I was 18, it was much easier. Mm -hmm. um, so well, but I think, you know, it's every, um, everywhere is the same for all of us. So um, always trying to, uh, you know, help uh, myself a little bit with a sleeping pill sometimes, of course, just to make sure I sleep all night. So, yeah, it's never easy. Oh, what could have been for Kanta, she was right back in the mix, but she couldn't convert. A couple of missed opportunities on overheads. So you are closing in on Muguruza for the uh, the number three three ranking. Do you do you keep that in mind while you're training or while you're playing, or do you just try and go out there and, and do your own thing? And if it happens, it happens. Of course, um, everything can change. It's still uh, two big tournaments to go here in 
China Open, also Singapore, so and everything can change. But of course, um, I just um, gonna fight for the highest number I can, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Of course, uh, Garbin is playing great tennis, and uh, she can really do well here as well. She played unbelievable tennis last year, also in Asia Swing. So uh, yeah, we'll see. Very close. And the baseline that last forehand. And then the hitman standing outside of heaven waiting for God to come and get me. Just talk a little bit about your uh, your first round matchup and your first round opponent in uh, Wang and what you're what you're looking for and uh, your preparation going into that. Match. Yes, well, we played um, in the beginning of the year in Shenzhen. A very tough uh, match. Um, I think she's a very good player and um, making very a lot of improve. Um, this year as well, so uh, for sure not easy first round and um, well a good challenge for me to play someone uh, Chinese in, in front of the Chinese uh, fans. And the ultimate exclamation point as Radvanska's run to glory means that yes, Lady Aga reigns supreme as she will be crowned champion of Beijing for a second time. Yeah, so, so you, you, didn't, you didn't see your draw yet, so you're just focused on that on that first round matchup and uh, just going from there? Yes, of course. Um, especially it's uh, never easy, very strong draw, so you need to take match by match. And um, if I win, then I'm going to focus on the second round. So then uh, my last question for you is just, just on my favorite thing about you is that you were voted the, the fan favorite singles player five years in a row. That's absolutely incredible. Just, just tell me a little bit about that and what that means for you and uh, on and off the tennis court and how you just try and hold yourself. Well, it means a lot. Um, I really was proud myself that I could win that uh, so many times. Uh, uh, in a row, of course, I very appreciate it, and um, I re it really means a lot to me that uh, uh, fans are voting around the world uh, for that uh, particular uh, title. So I'm um, just very happy with that, and uh, I just hope I can win uh, a couple of times again. Awesome! Thanks a lot. I really appreciate Thanks. It. And walks away with the title of the China Open 2016. around my mirror don't flicker everybody gets a nice autograph picture one for you and one for your sister who had to work tonight but is an avid listener every song's a favorite song and mics don't feedback all the reviewers say you need to go and see that and everybody claps because everybody is pleased and then they all take the stage and stop performing for me like ha 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 Just...